How's it going everyone? This is Chris Getting for Hot Hardware. Today we're taking a look at Rivet Network's brand new killer E2500 NIC onboard MSI's Z170A Gaming M6 motherboard. Killer NICs aim to kill lag caused by background network activities on your computer through superior packet prioritization and a few other clever tricks. We're going to step the killer E2500 through a few quick tests to see what improvements it offers in real world testing. The demonstration will be performed with my router limited to 15 megabits per second, approximately the national average in the US. So let's jump into Counter-Strike GO and queue up an arms race game. And we'll look on the right side at the Killer Control Center. So this is going to show us all the applications that are currently using network traffic. Um, these are ranked in order of priority, which Killer assigns by default. Um, depending on how sensitive to latency the application is or just generally do people want it to not lag. So at the top we have Counter-Strike Go as expected. Um, this is a priority one application and below this we have a few priority four applications like Steam which is where most programs are going to fall. Um, and at the very bottom we have priority six programs like uTorrent or Windows Updates. Um, overall our download speeds are pretty much non-existent. We have Counter-Strike Go using about uh, half a megabit or so. And on our upload speed, again, it's the same story with even less being used. So as we jump into the game, we'll see our latency is going to hover right around 62 ms. And we'll see how this holds over just a second. And then we're going to disable the prioritization features. And it looks like that is holding steady. So let's jump off and turn off advanced stream detect. Um, and we can see that our latency isn't really going to change because there's nothing competing with Counter-Strike for bandwidth right now. So we're at 63 MS, and that's pretty much going to be the story. Um, we'll add in the background activity now. So we'll queue up this YouTube video, and it is running at 1080p. So we will have that running and see if that interferes at all. And we're going to find there's going to be maybe a mild kick up of a couple milliseconds extra latency, but I don't think it's anything that anyone's really going to notice. Um, again, 66 MS. We'll turn back on advanced stream detect so we can actually watch the traffic profile of YouTube. And we'll see that it'll burst up a little bit to build its buffer and drop back down to zero, which is why it's not really showing much of an impact here. Um, YouTube does play fairly well with other programs provided you do have sufficient bandwidth and watching again we're still in the mid to low 60s for latency. So now let's actually pause this for a second and I've got some torrents queued up for some Linux distributions and we will launch those and as the seeds start up we'll see the bandwidth skyrocket for uTorrent in the killer control center. Um, but our latency, I mean, it is going to jump up a little bit because there is a full pipe of traffic going through, but it's not a whole significant amount. It's maybe 20 milliseconds here. And we'll see it's going to hold steady. Um, we'll just keep an eye on it for a few more seconds. Looks like, yeah, it's around, right around 80. So a jump up from around 65 MS to around 80 MS. Um, that's with full bandwidth saturation from uTorrent. And it looks like something going on with host processes. I'm not exactly sure. But overall, it's not impacting our game too much. So now we will jump into settings and we will disable the advanced stream detect again. And now we're going to see the latencies really start to skyrocket. They're already up to 130 MS, more than doubling what we started, 150. And it's you can see characters are starting to skip around the screen a lot. And this could be torrents, it could be Windows updates, it could be something downloading in your browser, um, a number of things that just aren't going to play nice without QoS lap. 200 ping and climbing. And that's just because we have the prioritization turned off. This is like how every other NIC works on the market. Um, and then we'll jump back and we'll turn our advanced train detect back on. And we'll see this ping in just a moment start to climb back down. Um, it seems there is a little bit of averaging of the latency going on, which is why we don't see a sudden climb and sudden drop off. Um, but already we're down to 114 
and it is still descending just by having that prioritization in place. It hasn't changed our traffic at all. We still have our torrents running. We still have host process doing whatever it's doing. Um, and, and those are the kinds of random background tasks that you don't always have control over. And we can say, especially with Windows 10, but killer can make the difference to keep your gameplay smooth no matter what. Now, if you want to check out our full review, it'll be over at hothardware.com and we'll have a link down in the description below. But until then, we'll see you next time.